Alrighty, it's about nine in the morning on a beautiful Saturday morning. Look at that. And uh, I'm just at the house. I got the gravel bike all set up. I'm going on roughly an 80 kilometer ride today. It's gravel, so it's gonna take all day. There are no services where I'm going. So I have to pack everything with me. So in the bag, I got seven bottles of water. I've got my little stove. I've got some coffee, got some cliff bars. I've got some dehydrated chili con carne. I've got a couple of oranges. Got my full repair kit in there, including spare tubes. Just in case I have another blowout on these tires. Tires are pumped to 50 PSI today. So less than when they blew out, we'll see what happens. And I've got my usual gear in the front, including spare battery and painkillers, chamois butter, sunscreen, extra lighter just in case my phone which you can't see because i'm recording on it my earbuds because i like to listen to stuff while i ride and that's it so i'll be all day doing this we'll see how it goes so how's this for a beautiful scene had to stop and take a picture of this and post it to mastodon and just as soon as i had checked it on mastodon there was a bang and my front tire blew out again. There was zero weight on it. And it was only 50 PSI. So, uh, yeah, I'll fix the tire. I brought a tube. I will continue on. But obviously there's a defect either with the wheel or with the tire. And <laughs> I'm not going to go on a thousand kilometer trip with that problem. I'll tell you that. But still, isn't this nice? What a place to have a blowout. Okay, we're all repaired. I've come down the road a little bit. It's paved here. It used to be gravel along this part, but I guess they paved it. It is gravel just up ahead. This corner here is the closest point to the Nation River along this stretch. This is what my ride's all about today, is following the Nation River. And I'm just going to walk down here, and we'll get to see this for a bit. Because the best bike rides have some hiking with them. <laughs> so we're just getting close to the river here. Okay, and you have to know this is one of these great off-the-grid campsites. I don't know who owns the land here. Whether it's part of LaRose Forest or whether it's privately owned. There's the Nation River. Just a lovely river. Gotta like it. So the idea of this ride is there's a bridge that's under repairs and it's, I guess, maybe 10 kilometers downstream from here, maybe 15. And uh, so that creates this great big loop, this great big loop. And I've done the first part of it to get to this point. And I'll be following the north side of the river along here, take the next open bridge, which is quite a ways from here, and then follow it back to Castleman total distance of about 80 kilometers so this is pretty nice i think i'll take some pictures so technically this part of the road is closed i just passed the road closed sign so who knows what we'll see up ahead but i do notice that nobody's even slowing down for the road closed signs <laughs> there you have it another car and again this is the only way to get around that detour because of the broken bridge so <laughs> otherwise you got to go to Limoges that's another 10 kilometers out of your way end of the closed bit 
road was a uh, pretty rough shape as you can see parts of it were just pure mud other parts were pretty bumpy the bumpy spots were dry the dry spots were flat uh, but how much fun was it didn't listen to music at all on this road so much fun just the perfect test too that I wanted to make for my bike all right now for the sketchy bit <laughs> be following uh, those ATVs they're probably gonna have a lot of fun not as much fun as I'm gonna have Okay, this is why this road is so sketchy. This isn't the Nation River, it's just a tributary. But the, the river itself is just a couple hundred feet down there. Um, but what we've got here is called Lido clay, and it's very likely to form landslides. That's why this is all forest. There used to be a town here, they moved the town. And then a few years later, there was a big landslide. Anyhow, it's stunningly beautiful. And even better, petroleums are out. Rock and roll. Here's the super sketchy bit of road. I think I'll wait till I have a GoPro before I film myself going through stuff like this. But uh, it's closed and then there's some big rocks. I think it's easily passable, but it's fun. here we are on the north side of the Belanger Bridge which is closed for construction actually it looks like it's in pretty good shape right now I could probably ride my bicycle across it you definitely can't drive across it there's all kinds of barriers nobody around today of course it's a Saturday I love it they have their own barbecue here and of course their own porta potty but you'd expect that so not sure exactly what they're gonna do it's supposed to be closed till August Anyhow, we're about 26 kilometers into the ride. Beautiful, bright, sunny day. Not sure what time it is, but it feels like it's around noon. Just having a lovely time. That's it. This is Eddyville. More of a concept than a place. I mean, <clears throat> town, village, three houses is down that road. And that's the main road back along the Nation River. But I think I'm going to take this road I've never taken this road. It's well, pretty dirt, but it's exactly the sort of road I want to be testing on my bike. And I don't know if it'll lead all the way through, but I think it does. We'll find out together. Okay, this is called Spring Runoff, and it makes it a little bit tricky cycling. I'm going to see if I can do some video of walls. Probably not. We're up for the challenge. Check out that field. Yeah, that's a cornfield. <laughs> so, actually, it's not too bad. Road and get the bike up here. Whoops. <laughs> Fun. And it's here. I'll just walk through this. So 
officially this road is closed. I'll check this out. This is the one end of the drain and it's coming out over there. <laughs> so it's about 12.30. I'm 32 kilometers in. As you can see, I'm sitting at the shore of the Nation River and it's time to make myself some lunch. So I'm just going to boil up a little water here. Get that fired up. Got it all in a nice little shady area. Now, I did forget to bring my spoon <laughs> and also a cup. So that's going to make things tricky. What I have in mind for food is macaroni and chili. I was worried, this is from last summer, I was worried it might go out of date. But uh, no, it's good until April 2051. So I think I'll be fine. So we'll just let this brew up and maybe I'll have an orange while I wait because oranges are good. Let's see if I can find it here. There it is. One orange. Yeah, so I'm using a sharp rock. I don't know how well that shows up, but, and I'm carving myself a spoon with a sharp rock out of some wood. Nature provides more or less. Right now, mostly less, but you know. Okay, while I'm waiting for my uh, chili, it's just in the bag there motorcycle because of course I'm recording I'm just gonna make myself some coffee brought some in a little baggie here and this is my little coffee maker let me just put this down here this is my coffee maker I'm just gonna stuff the uh, coffee in the maker all right coffee's in here and what we're gonna do next is get this little cone thing and put it on top there we go and I'm gonna put this now on top of my thermos. All right, normally this would just drain into a cup, but I didn't bring a cup. So I'm gonna to have to hold this over the thermos and uh, hold it over the thermos and pour the water in the top and try not to burn myself. There we go. You're not gonna see this because I can't do all of that and hold my phone at the same time. So, yeah, I gotta get a tripod. I gotta get a GoPro, really. Yeah, water's boiling. I don't know if you can see it, but let's give it a go. So, it seems to be working. There's not too much leakage. Uh, it's a little hot on the hands, but uh, it is pouring coffee into my thermos there. So, good. All right, that worked pretty well. Let's check out my chili now. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. I'm going to try to balance it here on my leg. I'm going to take a spoonful. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. That's the ticket. Oh. Oh my goodness, this is delicious. Mmm. Hot. Okay, I'm going to put down the uh, camera and enjoy my lunch. Okay, here I am in Pendleton. There is a plane flying over. I guess we're right in the flight path. I don't see it. But it's up there. So Pendleton is bigger than Eddyville, but not by much. And I've been pushing against the north wind up to get here. And now I'll be driving or riding straight east till I get to the St. Isidore Road. All right, it's May 6th, Saturday, 2023. I'm here for the coronation. There is a coronation here, right? That's what I heard. Anyone? Anyone? Oh no. 
they're all dead. We're finally crossing over the Nation River on a bridge that's not closed. This is the eastern end of the detour. I like this bridge, it's a classic. There's the bridge I just crossed. Now I'm on the south side of the Nation River for the first time today. So I'll be uh, following right along the shore of the river for the next little while. This road is paved for about maybe a kilometer, but after that it'll be a dirt track. I'll show you that when I get to it. But for now, I'm gonna have some water and an orange. Well, I've made it to the far end of that road, that little dirt trail, and this is a bridge. This is not that bridge that we saw under construction. This is a different bridge, but it's still closed. One of my favorite bridges though. I think I'm going to stop here, have some water, and maybe have some grow. Okay, I've just boiled up some water here. And I'll be careful not to burn myself. I'll use little tongs. You make that mistake only once. And I got some granola here. And this is what I learned on Anticosti. The weighed wheat granola is with hot water. Don't need a whole lot of water. You need a lot of granola out of that. Should be enough. And uh, yeah, great video work here, Stephen. I use my spoon <laughs> from lunch, and I'll just stir that up a bit. I've got myself a nice granola snack for the afternoon. See, even there, I've got too much water and not enough granola in there, so I'll just add a little more. Yeah, I forgot to bring a bowl. So I can't just put the desired amount of granola in the bowl and then put water in. No, I gotta do it 
guessing the amount of water and putting granola in until it's right. So that's good. So that'll make a nice snack. I'm not the only one here doing this. There's a family up there. I'm not going to put them on video. There's a family up there uh, who actually brought a little portable picnic table with them. And they're having a picnic on the deck of the closed bridge. Cool. That back there is the main road. And what I'm on right now, take a look here, is the old, old road. And by old, I mean it dates from my childhood. Now, it doesn't look so good now, as you can see. Um, but the story here is that this is where the town of Lemieux was. This was the road just outside Lemieux. And there was a big landslide here. I was talking about the Lido clay earlier on. Now this has decayed a bit, but I'm still gonna try to go through it. It's a bit of a shortcut from that main road. I don't know what shape it's in, but this is all about testing my uh, new bikes. So why not, right? Very top end of the mudslide. That's why the road bends around this. I have no business being able to cycle along this. It's, uh, especially with one hand, <laughs> it's mostly mud. There's a little bit of grass. And, oh, and some garbage. All right, that's probably the road out. I'm not sure what's up there. So I'm gonna park the bike here and take a look. Okay, I probably could have cycled down this more easily than on that grass. <laughs> but uh, more to the point, that is where the town of Lemieux used to be. That big hole in the ground. Now, the interesting thing about Lemieux is they got everybody out. They moved the town, the entire town, before the landslide. Okay, might have hit my limit here. I think I'm going to have to push the bike through this. Ah, but I can see the road. I'm not sure what it'll take to get through this. <laughs> They moved, they moved the village in 1989-90 and then in 1993 the Lemieux landslide happened <laughs> and there's the Lita Clay. Three other similar landslides have happened in this area over the last hundred years. I, this is what you call taking proactive action and saving like a ton of lives and there's what it looked like. Okay, it's about five hours later and some 35 kilometers later. I haven't been going very fast, but I had lunch and I had a snack. But here we are at the other side of that bridge on the south side of the Nation River. And we saw the construction on the north side, like I say, five hours ago. And uh, over there, there's where all the landslides happened. So you can sort of see why it's going to take six months to finish this bridge. It's only about five, five, uh, five o'clock, about 63 kilometers in. So I'm on the home stretch now, not too far to go.
we are at the bridge over the Nation River here in Castleman. This town being, of course, where we started the ride and we'll all end it shortly. The bridge is in rough shape. So I don't know what'll happen when they decide to fix this one. I can't imagine this bridge being closed for a whole year. And here we are, back on the north side of the river again. <laughs> 